Welcome to The Compiler, a daily curation of tech news. Let's get into it. Intel's throwing their hat into the GPU ring with their new Battlemage line. The B580 is claiming to be 10% faster than NVIDIA's RTX 4060 at 1440p, all for just $249. That's some serious price to performance if it holds up in real-world testing. Might actually give Team Green a run for their money in the budget space. Speaking of competition, China's not playing nice in the chip sandbox anymore. They've banned exporting key chip materials to the U.S., cranking up the tech trade war another notch. This could seriously mess with supply chains and chip production. Keep an eye on how this impacts hardware prices and availability down the line. On the software side, Russell's is making OpenSSL look like a tortoise in multi-threaded TLS benchmarks. If you're doing heavy crypto work, might be worth checking out. Could be a serious performance boost for high load scenarios. Microsoft's cloud pricing practices have landed them in hot water across the pond. The UK slapped them with a $1.25 billion antitrust suit. Apparently, they're not too happy with how Microsoft's been handling their cloud licensing. This could have some ripple effects on Azure pricing and policies globally. Now for some security news that actually matters. There's a nasty vulnerability called Logo Fail making the rounds. It allows installation of boot kitty malware on Linux devices through compromised boot logos. If you're running Linux boxes, especially in production, check those boot logos and update your UEFI firmware ASAP. Don't let a fancy boot screen be your downfall. In the world of open hardware, OpenWarts shipped their own repairable Wi-Fi 6 router, full firmware control, MediaTek dual-core chip, the works. If you're tired of black box routers and want something you can actually tinker with, this might be your jam. Check out the GitHub repo for the full scoop. GitHub's been touting Copilot's code quality, but some researchers are calling BS. They're questioning its real-world performance claims. Might want to take those AI-generated suggestions with an extra grain of salt. Meta's finally admitting their content moderation isn't up to snuff. Apparently, they've been overzealous with COVID-19 post removals. Error rates are too high, according to the higher-ups. No kidding. For the 3D enthusiasts out there, World Labs AI has a cool new toy. You can generate interactive 3D scenes from a single photo. Imagine being able to explore and interact with any image. The possibilities for game dev and VR are pretty mind-bending. Repo of the week goes to OpenWart 1. It's not just firmware anymore. They've got their own open source Wi-Fi 6 router hardware now. Fully open, repairable, and ready for custom firmware. If you've ever wanted to really dig into network hardware, this is your chance. And finally, a dev shower thought to leave you with. If Enron can come back as a crypto firm, maybe there's hope for that spaghetti code you wrote back in 2005. Who knows, it might be worth something someday. Stranger things have happened in tech. Remember, all the code snippets and more details are available at compiler.io. Keep building, keep learning, and maybe don't put all your eggs in the AI-generated code basket just yet. Thanks for listening. For more, please visit thecompiler.io.